Okay, so let me tell you my insurance story. I'm not telling you this for pity or anything else. I'm trying to educate you. So we all have a home insurance and we hope we're never going to use it. Well, I had to use it. Um, I had a very small fire in my corner of my basement apartment. Um, and it really turned into a bigger ordeal. I learned a lot from it. Um, I'm grateful for that, so I try to spread the word. Uh, what I learned is that, uh, I can't say all insurance, but the insurance that I had, um, they insisted that the whole house be gutted uh, down to the studs because their uh, reasoning was, was that if there's any smoke uh, in the house that later, uh, if I smell smoke, you know, six months later or a year later, that then they would have to tear everything out of the house to get rid of that smoke smell. And uh, they, uh, there was a contractor hired. Um, the anything, any contractor that touches your belongings, um, they, uh, that money comes out of your personal property of your home insurance. And typically you think about your personal property as, well, you know, if, if the house blows away uh, in a storm or burns down or whatever, uh, you know, my clothes and my furniture and things will be covered. Well, yeah, that's right, that is personal property. Um, but if some, if a contractor, ServPro or Service Master or, you know, any of these places, um, touch your personal property to pack it up um, and, and everything, they charge um, by that, they charge exorbitant fees and there's a half a dozen different ones out there. Um, I'm not gonna tell the name of the one that I had the bad problem with, um, but uh, uh, I ended up losing 30,000, well, 20,000 and then another 10. So it was about $30,000 out of my personal property that I didn't get paid because the insurance company has to pay for um, that. So just know that. Now, now in hindsight, yes, I could have gone back and I could have packed some of my own things. Um, uh, there's things that they insisted be tossed out because they said they wouldn't be able to clean them. Some of those things, like my uh, record collection, my albums, um, I said, well, I don't care. I'm keeping them. You're, you're not getting rid of them. And they said, well, just know that you won't be able to get the smell out. Well, you know what? I, I don't smell anything. And I have, a, I think, a pretty picky nose. Um, time uh, does some of that. Uh, uh, you know, you could certainly use baking soda or anything else. There's ozone machines. There's all sorts of things you can do. Um, I wish I had packed things like that myself um, instead of letting them pack it. Um, and, and you don't really have to have them pack anything. Uh, it's just a matter of time. And unless the insurance company says, hey, you know, you can't six, take six months to do this because we need to keep you in an apartment or a hotel or something. Okay, so I get that. But... Um, you certainly have the right to pack your own things or clean your own things or or move your own things out or anything like that. So um, just keep that in mind. And, and when you review your insurance policy and you look at the personal property limit, and we're going to do some other videos uh, and interview some um, uh, insurance company uh, agents, um, just think about what you have in your house and uh you know you might add 10 percent or something to it just just in case um it might be a good idea talk it over with somebody um and it's always a good idea to go through your house nowadays you know we all have smartphones or a lot of us do uh, or tablets or anything else just walk through and, and open the closet door and look around and you know, you can talk while you're doing it or not talk and walk over to your curio cabinet or your, uh, you know, your cabinet where your dishes are. Just open some cabinet doors and closets and walk around and look at everything. Since most of your stuff stays on the cloud, 
that video would be on your cloud should you ever need it. You know, in the old days, they, they suggested we walk around, take photos, and then we put the photos in a smart place and all. Well, we've got it so much better today with, with smartphones. So do yourself a favor and do that. Um, you have questions? Let me know. I'm here to to educate you and and teach you not to go through whatever I went through. <laughs>